Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Natural Learning. It's good to have you back. I hope you've been enjoying the video so far. I've got a couple of things to update you on. Well, I don't actually. I've got one thing to update you on. And that's my Davos Pantaloris has molted out and he's got little boxing gloves. He's a mature male. Um, so I have found a female for him that's molted a very similar time to him, actually. So it's perfect timing. And that belongs to Al's Arachnid, so a link to him will be down in the description. Now, I'm also going to be putting a link to Valley's Tranchulas in the description, my friend Gab over at Valley's Tranchulas. Make sure you go check him out. He's got to 800 subscribers, let's push him to 1,000 because he sent me some new additions. So, um, let's turn this around and see what he sent me. I know what he sent me, but let's, let's show you. So, unfortunately for me, he hasn't sent me any salt and vinegar crisps would have been nice a little bit thoughtless gav let's just say that leave that there but there's a load of tissue we got a box in a box like past the parcel this i want to got a whole roll thanks gav let's open her up god it's satisfying when it goes smoothly like that isn't it And it doesn't go so smoothly at the end. I know people like watching unboxing videos. I don't see the appeal. It's just... Most of it's awkward. Especially if you're filming with one hand like me. I prefer unboxing things myself. So these are all tarantulas. I'll have you know, and I can see one of them at the top there. Oh God, one hand, let's get the knee involved. Whoop. Bubble wrap, I shall be popping that later. Excellent. Okay. Whoop. Loads of bubble wrap. Oh, and I can see the other one here as well. Excellent. So, I don't have to worry about what one's going to bite my face off and what one isn't. That is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Gav, you're a liar, mate. You told me this was two inches. Well, as you can see, this isn't adult locusts. This is a H gigas. Uh, I'm not sure how to say the first bit. I'll Google it and I'll put it on the thing. It's Hister Correcties of, I don't know, something like that. I'm saying it really awkwardly. Here you go. This is, is a bit of a face hugger. Um, if you've watched Alien, you'll know what I mean. This, uh, it would quite like, I think, to uh, sink its fangs into me. So that's gonna be interesting. And um, we're gonna have to rehouse it pretty soon because that's what I'm putting it in. So, um. It's not going to go in that. There's no way. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to put it in something else then. And then in here, Gav recently had a beautiful egg sac of Caribbean Versa colours. And being the lovely man that he is, he sent me six of the bad boys. So we've got six Caribbean Versa colours and one face huggy bitey horrendous thing that is actually really cool so um i've got the enclosures sorted out for these i got the idea for the enclosures of these guys from tom moran another tarantula youtuber so i'll explain that to you when i'm rehousing them in the meantime i need to try and find a home for this dude and um i'll see you guys in the bathroom where i'm trying not to get bitten hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the darwin awards in this episode, we'll see a 22-year-old die by spider bite in his bathroom by trying to keep one as a pet. Great. I do want to add that this spider isn't deadly, actually, but it does have medically significant venom. It does have a, it's got a pretty gnarly, gnarly nosh on it. So um, we will definitely be avoiding being bitten. Anyway, we're going to leave that one till last because that's the most entertaining. But these ones should be pretty entertaining as well. So in here, obviously, we have the six Carabiner Versicolor slings. Now, 
I've got a bit of an interesting enclosure design on this one. So, as you can see, we've got one here and the bottom comes off. That's because these spiders, carabiners and aviculara, um, they like going up, they can't help it. They just go up all the time, up, 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 up. And if you've got an enclosure that opens from the top, it'll be there when you're trying to feed it and it will just come out the enclosure and be a nightmare. I've had it before, it is a genuine nightmare. So if you have an enclosure that opens from the bottom like this, the spider will hopefully be webbed up at the top here. You open it up, you can mess around with the substrate, do whatever you want, put some food in, close it back up there without even disturbing the tarantula. So that's the plan there anyway. Um, I'm not even prepared. Be right back. Okay, now I have tongs and some catch cups. I'm absolutely pulling my pants for that one. So anyway, let's do these uh, let's do these carabiner verse colours. Big thank you to Davla again over at Valley's Transfers, his link will be down in the description. I'm very happy that your verse colour egg sac came through. It's his first successful egg sac, so um, congratulations on that dude. Hopefully. You can do it as simple as this. Huh, the transfers that just want to go up, it's not actually that simple. Never too bad, especially if it's this size, though, right, but. You know, look at the pretty little things. Obviously, that's only two of them. You can't see it very well here, I'll get you some better close ups later, but they are actually gorgeous, gorgeous blue colour until they um, become juvenile mature and then they become the lovely multicolored um, Caribbean burst colors that we know and love. Just like that, just gonna double check everything's always best to. I know he sent me six, but just to make sure, just like that, all the Versicolor are rehoused. So I'm actually gonna take them out and put them in their place before I do the HP, I guess, in case I'm not jumping or flying around the place or knocking any of them over just to, just to play it safe. Now, if you do already follow Gav, you might have already seen his video where he's potting up this HG. I guess it was good as gold. Um, but he told me that it's a little F word. So, let's put these verse colour back and um, play around with the little F word. So, here we go. This is where you see your favourite YouTuber, this guy, get a sweat on. This is the spider. Apparently it's a nightmare. Now the temperature today, in general, is a bit cooler, which is fantastic. Um, because what that means is as invertebrates, cold-blooded animals, it might mean that it's a little bit, a little bit calmer. But we'll find out. These guys are renowned for being water-loving, so it's got a nice deep water bowl in here. This is the new one. Nice deep water bowl in here. Very wet substrate, very deep substrate as they are a fossorial species. Fossorial means they dig, especially HP gas. I'm looking forward, really looking forward to seeing how this, uh, how this molds its enclosure. Oh, I feel like I should be wearing gauntlets. Without any further ado. See this show on the road, shall we?
Why did I jump there? That is a beautiful spider cab. I don't know why you'd want to give this to me. What sedatives have we given it? My God, this is one calm tea. Clearly not your soothing Welsh voice, Gav. Which sucks for you. Lid on. There we have a rehoused spider. Needs a feed. So let's take it to his room, put it where it needs to be, and uh, give it some food. So guys, cheers for watching, um, mildly unentertaining video but new additions. Um, and I got a new face hugger that actually wants a hug rather than wants to rip your face off. Do not forget about my 500 subscriber giveaway. If you don't know what this is, go two videos back, you will receive unreleased merch. You will receive a few spiders from my personal collection and a £50 Amazon gift card to spend however you want. You enter by following my Instagram, which is at natural underscore learning underscore official, you enter by subscribing to this YouTube channel and you enter by commenting on any three of these videos that have come out since then saying I want to win. So subscribe, leave a comment and follow me on Instagram and you could be in a chance of winning. Alright guys, here's to the next one, should be a good one next video, I've kind of got it in mind what I'm going to do, so uh, yeah, alright guys, I'll catch you later, have a good one, bye bye.